Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here again, back for another shave video. Now, I've got a few days growth on here. I was hoping to be able to get my um, Alpha Ecliptic uh, in today, but didn't. And, you know, I thought that I may as well still upload a video. I'm going out um, for a date, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm just wanting to get rid of this growth. It's probably two days growth, as you can see, just Got a little bit there, and we're gonna we're gonna risk it today. We're gonna risk it. I'm gonna use something that is quite aggressive for me. It is the Executive Shaving Claymore. This is a single edge razor. It is so heavy. It feels awesome. This is so industrial. It feels great. Now these take the Feather Artist Club Pro blades, so I'm gonna be throwing in a Captain Kind Mild. So with using something really aggressive, I wanted something with heaps of slickness. So I picked up Cold River Soapworks uh, Select. This is the Citrus, this is their V2 formula, which contains goat's milk, tallow, stearic acid, potassium hydroxide, coke and butter, shea butter, glycerin, castor oil, and some others, and silk protein. So I saw the lanolin and silk protein and thought I have to give that a go. I've lathered this up a few times. This just smells like lemon hard candies to me. Very nice. There's a slight just soapy back note to it, just smells like a regular soap. But at the front it's got your citrus top notes, which is really nice. I'm not the biggest citrus fan, I'm more of earthy, woodsy, grassy scents. Uh, but this is still still smells fantastic and Today I'm gonna to be using the smoke again. I just after the last shave Just how good it was. I can't stay away from it. So we're just gonna wet the face I'm gonna do cold water shave today ah, Just wet the face And we're going to load the blade into this razor. It's a, it's for me one of the most aggressive razors I have. Probably the only one that's more aggressive is the R41. But the blade feel is probably very similar, if not more extreme on this razor. But in terms of efficiency, that R41 is pretty incredible. So I'm probably only going to need two passes today. So this may be a slightly shorter video. So that's all loaded up, ready to go. It's got a Kai Captain Mild, if I didn't say that before. Unbloomed puck, didn't bloom it. Give a couple of flicks. Three flicks in my bore brush. We'll load up. This should get pretty, pretty messy. Normally is what happens with this soap. I've been mucking around with loading soaps wet and loading soaps dry. Both of them seem to work pretty similar for me. I normally load it a lot drier, like this is really wet for me to load up on. But I see a lot of people loading it a lot wetter. So I've been trialing that lately. And it's, a, it's still making really good lathers, especially with brands like this. Cold River Soap Works do amazing soaps. I bought this from Chris um, at Another Cut Above. And really fantastic soap. It's got goat's milk in it. I didn't even realize until I read it yesterday when I was deciding what I was gonna use for today's shave. And yeah, it's, I didn't even realize. It still hasn't got that post shave feel that Mitchell's Wool Fat does but it's definitely above average in that regard. So this is loaded up heaps. Now it's a very shallow tin, so it does get a bit messy. It's a shallow tin, but it's really wide, so it's awesome for loading up with any type of brush, really. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I've had a couple of stressful days at work, which I never have, I'm, I never stress at work. But these past few days we've been really understaffed because we've been in a quiet period. 
so we're understaffed and then when rushes come in we just don't have the staff to deal with it really so it's we can't have too many people on otherwise it's a waste of money and we're not making any money and it's just that fine line between you know having enough people oh no <laughs> at least i'm not spitting on it this time or <laughs> not yet anyway oh i love this brush so much this is my second favorite brush i think i have two more on the way now that are based on a that's very similar oh they're based on the same brush handle but I've given them different designs and different knots and they're by different people. One of them is a guy I've only just recently found, which is Brushcraft Shaving Brushes. Look them up on Instagram. I guarantee you, you'll be shocked with how good some of them are. He does metal work with them. He does woodwork. He does woodwork and resin work. And they are some of the most beautiful brushes I've seen. So, that one will be coming in with a bore knot. These are just future ones, they're not like on the way already. Uh, these are just ones that I've recently planned. And also, Evershave. Amazing brushes, affordable. Even um, from America to Australia, they're still stupidly affordable for a custom. Stupidly affordable. So I've gotten ideas there as well. So they're based on the same handle because it's one of my favorite handle types. Similar length as my Massive Manchurian. So then I will have a synthetic in the Evershave, hopefully the quarter moon knot. Then I'll have a bore knot and then I've got my badger. Because I love long handle brushes. I'm tempted, but this handle's so beautiful on this. I'm tempted to get this knot in a different handle. I'm tempted. And that lather is just gorgeous. It's on the thicker side. So I might... Nah. Nah. Seems pretty good. Oh, I might add a little bit more water. I think you can take it. Tallow soaps, I find generally can. Take slightly more water. Yeah, there we are. Getting a little bit more sheen. Mm. This feels so luxurious. Definitely one of my top leather is this. The brush is helping heaps too. I love this brush. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. So, where did I put it? Here we are. Executive Shaving Claymore. I only ever use this with multiple days growth because as a daily shaver I couldn't, I would not be able to use this razor. It is on the aggressive side. If you don't like aggressive razors, don't try this. Please don't try this at home. <laughs> but yeah, work's been stressful lately. I've, I've, over the two and a half years that I've worked there, I've never felt stressed. Oh, can you hear that? But the past two days I've been a bit over the shop and a bit sort of out of it. It just... Starting to get over it. So I'm wondering if I should take the job at this new 
cafe that I went into today, but the owner wasn't there, which was a shame. Actually, I'm going to say this has more blade feel than an R41. It's really intense. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but everyone's saying that it is on the aggressive side, but... It's so hard to use light pressure with this razor. So hard. Because it's so heavy. Super light. It's my dog. <laughs> the dog's so stupid. If, if, if someone walks past, he'll go barking and barking and barking. Someone walks up to the door, but he doesn't say a word. What are you doing, mate? Hey. <laughs> Can you stop? He's just trying to get in the video. Alright. Funny little critter. He's doing the little thing where he walks around and just like, buh, buh. Like they can definitely hear him. Gotta have the last say, don't you, Ralph? Oh, this raise is so aggressive. It's almost uncomfortably aggressive. For me. Almost. But it's just... Just usable. It's still such an experience to shave with something like that. Just to go, wow, that's aggressive. Ha oh, ha. Yeah, this is a two-part shaver. So this video might be a little bit shorter, just with the two passes. Poor Ken surfs going down to, going up to three passes just because people have tried to say, do three passes. If you're comfortable with two, stick with two. I mean. Stupid people commenting stuff like that, being judgmental and critical on how someone shaves. It's a personal, leisurely activity. Leave him alone. <laughs> like, he's taking his time out of his day to do all that and all of his editing to upload content for people and. Still can't make everyone happy, and he tries his best. Even though it's his channel. I mean, awesome fella. I've been watching him for a few months now. He's really good. I love Ken Surf's videos. If you haven't watched him, check him out. He's really good. Nice, genuine bloke. So, second pass. We're just going to go across the grain with this one. Uh, yeah. Cross grain. Just trying to draw my hand off. Oh. Feels. Feels so good. This is great at picking up pesky little hairs that I don't normally get.
I love these blades. I've actually just seen a new razor that's come out. The, shit, what was it called? The Fusion Dynamic or something? What it is, think of one blade, one blade core, made out of aluminium, aluminium. <laughs> so pivoting head, double edge razor handle, so like a lot thinner, it's not like a massive one blade handle takes double edge blades 70 bucks US including shipping international how good's that Ooh. so I've been Trying to tame myself not to buy it. Since I've just bought. And it should be being um, shipped today actually. A Razor Rock Titanium Baby Smooth. And you know it's just my luck. How I bought that Alpha Ecliptic, it's now back on sale. <laughs> That's alright. At least I got it now. Well, I haven't got it, but it's on its way. And with my experience with Australia Post lately, who knows if it'll get here? If you didn't know, I had three parcels. That I had to open investigations for. That feedback is awesome. Sounds uncomfortable, but it's not. This isn't the most maneuverable razor though. Yeah, I had three parcels that I had to put an investigation down for. They found one, they lost two. The above the tie aluminium and another one that I can't remember buying. I tried looking up tracking numbers and stuff and I just can't remember. The only one they found was that Wilkinson sticky. Which I'm really glad about though, I love that razor. Oh yeah. Yeah, not, not much residual slickness. But, the leather slickness is really good, really good stuff. It's top notch. Actually, I'm going to take back what I said about the residual slickness, because I just remembered about Chris, how he said with the Wonder, uh, the Wunderbar, how it basically whips off all the leather. So now that I've put a slight bit of water on it, the soap's just sort of come out. I think just because it's really aggressive I can't sort of test residual slickness but that feels amazing. Really good stuff. That's a close comfortable shave. Comfortable. As comfortable as you'll get with that razor. Got a couple of weepers around the chin. This is where I've been getting it lately. Uh, just I don't know. Either off my game or something. Something or other. Yeah, this is a this is a big boy of a razor in terms of heft. So yeah, I've got I've got my Kickstarter down for Supply Razor V2. I've got the Rockwell Model T, which is such a delay, but it's all right. I'm I'm not too bothered. I've got enough shaving gear to to hold me off until then. And I've got the PAA Alpha Ecliptic. Now I've got that Razor Rock Baby Smooth. I have. Those two brushes in the making. 
So, you know, I've got, I've got a few, few things on the way that I'm really, really excited about. So we're going to go with the Allen block today, just to try and clean up some of those. Yeah, there's a few just under the chin. Well, not a lot. Yeah, there's a bit there. Just try and close off those those little suckers. I, I didn't want a BBS shave today. I just wanted a two-pass DFS. And that razor delivered. I do enjoy that razor, just for something different. When I feel like using something aggressive. Something aggressive that's not the R41. I haven't used that one in months. That was the third razor I ever got. So I went from a Parker 99R to a 34C and then jumped straight to the R41. When I first put it on my face, I was about three months into DE shaving and I just went, holy shit. <laughs> Feels great though, like it's, it, I didn't have a bad shave from it. I just did two passes and went, yeah, that's good. And it was a really good shave. It's not hard to use, really. You just have to be careful. So, rest of the ladder. There's heaps in this. Oh, I love this brush. Samoog 2000. If you're a ball brush fan like I am, I'm huge on ball brushes. I absolutely love them. That's why I wanted it in that brush craft one, in the expensive handle. I wanted a ball be just because I love the way they perform. They feel great. I love the I love the break-in process. It's sort of like like your own little child. Like it just gets better and better with age. Oh what a brilliant shave that was. Really really happy with that. Tastes like shit. Whew. Yeah, all right, we're all done there. Now, ah, don't know if I want something that smells great or feels great. Maybe a Too Faced. Let's go something that feels great. Or, I might try to keep it actually in a lemon, oh, a lemon? This isn't even a lemon one, but the, a citrus sort of scent. So we're gonna go Citrus Musk by Penaud Clubman. I got the big bottle of this and it smells fantastic. Oh, musky citrus. Just gorgeous, this. Oh yeah. Penaud Clubman has great Post shave feel for a splash, really good. Mm. Give it like five minutes. And also, these have really good longevity to them. I find like it lasts a while on the face. I've got the, I've got the regular Penal Clubman, and then I've got this Citrus Musk. Oh yeah, smell that, smell that. <laughs> Oh, Paul, love your videos. <laughs> He's dialed it down a bit lately compared to his old videos. You go back and he was just jumping all over the place. <laughs> oh, funny. Surprised he could even shave jumping around and... <laughs> oh, I talk to so much shit. I see a two-pass shave still at like almost 25 minutes. Go me. Anyway. That was an amazing shave, uh, stoked with that one. Uh, I can't even really remember what I talked about, but we'll just go over what I used today. We used the Cold River Soapworks Citrus. It's got tallow and lanolin in it, very good stuff. And then for the razor, Executive Shaving Claymore SE. Used the Kai Captain Mild on the first shave. Really close, comfortable shave. It's a beautiful two-pass razor. Even for a one-pass shaver, 
That would be awesome if you're a one pass shaver. I wouldn't mind actually doing a video for that. One pass shave with that. Just do a straight across grain, bit of touch ups. Hmm, that could be a video idea. Should have done that today to be honest. But two pass was, was good. Used my new baby, <laughs> the Samoog 2000. Oh yeah, this thing blooms like crazy. How good is that? Oh, it's just fantastic. I'm over the moon with that. That's awesome. I love ball brushes. <laughs> oh, that, that should have been my username, ball brush lover. <laughs> anyway, so we used that. What haven't I said? What haven't I said? Uh, post shave, we used the alum. This is the Osma one. And it doesn't break up and get all crinkly and gross like some of the others get. So I like it for that. And also, sorry, I thought the video stopped. My heart just sunk. I was like, <gasps> and then we also used Penaud Clubman. Oh, sorry, Penaud Citrus Mask. Beautiful, beautiful scent on it. Love it. That nice musky undertone is beautiful with the top notes of the citrus. Fantastic stuff. Hope you guys have had a great day. It's it's my Saturday and Sunday. So Thursday is my one day off. So hopefully the rest of the day is good. I've been out, had a few that sort of stuff. I'll probably have another one before I leave. And hopefully enjoy the rest of the day. And I hope you do too. And take care, stay safe, and have some splendid shaves, everyone. See ya.